They are doing their best to control this narrative and they've got Google on board, they've got Facebook on board to manage through their algorithms, which undoubtedly incorporate AI, to filter the news that you and I search for so that they're protecting you. <laughs> this is what they're saying. It's been alleged that there are ancient ET corpses that can be found throughout our solar system, which have very bizarre metallic trace elements in them. And those metals are only used in the most high level computer technology that were ever developed. They never would normally appear in biological life forms, but these ancient corpses are absolutely crawling with these metals. The metals actually have been analyzed and there is now reason to believe that these beings were infested with nanites. Nanites being little individual machines that do some kind of cloud computing and together in larger numbers, they actually are a supercomputer. And they can utterly take over your body to such an extent that the body is not really human anymore. It's largely machine oriented, but it has enough biological life to still function in that capacity as well. It appears that George Lucas was actually tipped off about this, thus the Empire in Star Wars appears to actually be about the Mars civilization. The Death Star that he describes in Star Wars resemble actual moons that we have in our solar system. They are believed to be hollow in the inside and have weapons that could kill a planet, which apparently is how the asteroid belt was created. The Super Earth was blown up by one of these Death Stars. Then look at Darth Vader. What is Darth Vader? He's a man who's had all of his arms and legs cut off, and he's breathing like this. Yes, Master. And the body is damaged and distorted, and it's the machine that's keeping him alive. He's part human and part robot, and Luke starts to go that way when his hand is cut off, and now he has a robotic hand. These things were apparently put in place to tell us the truth and hide it out in the open, and allegedly, Star Wars was authorized to put out this information. So did Elon Musk hear about this AI menace? Was he told that the AI is dangerous? And is he so concerned about the Earth being taken over by AI that he is actually trying to build an escape plan for him and a few of his friends to be able to go to Mars by 2025 so they could get away from this global takeover? The AlphaGo AI algorithm beat a human at the world's hardest game. This is a historic moment in computer science and artificial intelligence. And so the incorporation of AI into Google, Google's dumping a ton of money into it, as probably is Facebook. Where this is all going, well, I think we can see the writing on the wall. And if I can spell it out, the writing on the wall says totalitarian, virtual, 24-7 fascist surveillance state is where it's going. Where it's going in terms of singularity is another question. I'm very interested in trying to understand where the classified world is in terms of AI. All right, I've had strong reason to believe for a long time that the classified world in many ways is ahead of the rest of us in a lot of key metrics. The question is, are they ahead of us in terms of AI? Some people believe that they are. There's some people believe that the NSA has achieved full-blown quantum computing. James Bamford, I think, thinks that this is the case, and he's one of the foremost experts on the NSA. Uh, but he doesn't know. None of us know. And the same question applies to AI. Have they achieved the singularity? And if they did, wouldn't it be possible that the rest of us know about it? I don't really know. I don't have the answers to this. But I do think, even forgetting the classified world, we are on a trajectory as our civilization. We're going to reach it. If I were to give my guess, I'd say I wouldn't be surprised if it were less than 20 years from now. Before 2040, I'd be surprised if it wasn't, to be honest with you. Technology is advancing at a very quick pace. Even the computers that we're currently using are going out of date very fast. What is the future of computers? What is a quantum computer? You have these little cells that they call qubits, Q-U-B-I-T-S. 
And these little cells capture the wave particle duality of the photon, thus creating potentially many, many thousands of parallel sets of instructions processing simultaneously. This has huge implications for cybersecurity because even the most elaborate password protections that we have now could still be hacked with enough computer power. And it may take hundreds or even thousands of years with conventional computer power, but once you have the awesome power of a quantum computer, you could potentially hack even the most secure encryption in a matter of minutes or seconds. There's no security there, there's no firewall. And if you have quantum computers that become sentient, they could become so powerful that their intelligence could vastly outstrip us.